Hey guys, it's Pia here and today I wanted to make a short video showing you which customs are still up for grabs in my eBay shop. Uh, these auctions are ending actually today at 3.30 p.m. PDT, so I'm sorry that I'm putting this video up really late. But they are still up there for today and if you want to adopt any of them, you can check out the link in the description of the video that will take you to my eBay shop. So I'm going to show you the customs and I also wanted to just do a little sort of update video with a few news and kind of answering some of your questions that you've been having lately um, and kind of also explaining why I've been absent from YouTube for a little bit and yeah. But before all that, I'm just going to show you the customs that are currently up for grabs in my eBay shop and as always, I hope that they find amazing homes and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and show them to you. So here they are. So the first one is a little cat that was inspired by Hufflepuff, the Hogwarts house. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's from Harry Potter. And um, I've been reading the books lately again and I really love them, so I thought it would be fun to make something inspired by Harry Potter. And I actually had this custom that I started ages ago that already had a scarf. And then I asked my Instagram followers which house house I should base this custom on. So I just asked them which Hogwarts house they would be sorted into. And I chose to make the custom based on the popular vote. And most people said that they would be sorted into Hufflepuff. So that is why I decided to make this custom based on that. And fun fact, I would be sorted into Ravenclaw because I'm smart. <laughs> but yeah, so people have been asking me that and I thought I would just answer that question. So this is the first custom. I call him Cedric, as like Cedric Diggory from Hufflepuff because he is one of my favorite students from that house. So the second custom that's up for grabs in my eBay shop is this little winter ferret, my little snow princess. Um, she features tons of details in her eyes and on this lovely uh, snowflake that I made on top of her head. This is actually made from a mold, so I didn't sculpt all of these little details, but I love the mold a lot and I thought that it would look great on her. And she also has tons of little details on her cape and it's really shimmery because I used um, this metallic sort of color on, on it with blue as well and yeah, it's just super super pretty and detailed and I hope that you guys like her. So those are the customs that are currently up for grabs in my eBay shop. As I said, they're gonna be up until 3.30 p.m. PDT today. Uh, Sunday. So if you're watching this very soon after I've uploaded the video, then they're probably still available But if you're watching this a few days later, then they might not be up there anymore But you can check it out anyway, and I'm gonna try to put up a couple of customs every now and then But yeah, it's been really hard for me because of my recent circumstances being that I am pregnant And in case you missed my video where I actually revealed this, this was the video called the best Christmas present um, then yes, now you're at least going to know it. I'm pregnant and I'm currently at about 19 weeks So we are expecting a little baby boy in the middle of June and I'm really excited about it um, I've been really lucky to avoid being uh, sick in the mornings But I've been super 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 tired and just completely drained out of energy So that's why I haven't been able to actually paint much lately and also the paint fumes kind of made me feel a little bit sick so <laughs> I had to avoid it, but I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm in my second trimester and um, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot better, so I'm definitely trying to make more customs now. Um, so yeah, that's something that people have been asking me frequently is, are you actually pregnant or was it just something else going on in that, um, <laughs> in that Christmas present video? But yeah, I am, and I'm very excited about it. And also, for those of you asking how old I am, I wanted to remind you guys that I am 27 years old, so I'm definitely old enough to have a child. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the first question that I wanted to answer that also kind of uh, people have been asking me why I've, why I've been gone and why I've been taking a break and that's the answer to that question, I guess. Uh, lots of people have also been asking me, will I stop making videos or customs once the baby is born? Um, no. <laughs> this is actually what I do for a living, so I'm not going to stop making these videos. I might have to take a maternity leave, obviously, if the baby is, you know, one of those babies that needs a lot of attention. But I'm definitely going to continue making these. I'm not abandoning my channel or anything. So I'm definitely gonna do my best to keep making customs, keep making videos and all of that. Um, you will probably notice that I probably won't be able to put up videos every single day anymore, but I'm gonna just do my best and I hope that you guys support me with it and I'm really excited for this new step in my life and I'm super, super excited to meet our baby boy. <laughs> Um, in completely other news, I wanted to tell you guys that Face Off is starting again next week. It's one of my favorite TV programs and if you've been following me for a while on YouTube, you might have noticed that I have made customs based on um, the Face Off episodes um, in recent seasons. Not the last one because I was moving and I was very busy, but um, a couple of seasons before that I was making customs based on the challenges of e every episode, every week. So I'm gonna try to do that, I'm gonna see how that works out because as I said, I'm still feeling a little bit tired every now and then, but I'm kind of excited to get into it and I love 
um, designing original characters based on the challenges. So I'm gonna definitely try to do that for this entire season. I'm super excited about it anyway because it's uh, Face Off All Stars, so it's um, returning makeup artists from previous seasons. And in case you don't know what Face Off is, I'm sorry, I've just been rambling. Um, it is a reality TV competition where makeup artists, um, or special makeup artists actually, uh, compete and they make all these really cool original characters each week and it's just really cool. It inspires artists, I think, around the world and it's amazing. So you should definitely watch it if you're into reality TV competitions, if you're into special effects makeups or if you're just into arts and stuff like that. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So you should check that out if you're interested. Um, and also I wanted to say that um, a while ago I made the announcement that I'm gonna start making customs based on planets. Um, so I'm definitely still gonna try to do that. Um, obviously I haven't been able to do anything because of this whole pregnancy thing, but I at least wanted to show you guys the base figure that I'll be using for my first custom, which is based on the sun. Um, you guys voted on four different base figures for it, and a couple of people said that I should make a combination of two of them, and I thought that that sounded amazing. And the base figure actually looks really great, so I'm just going to show you the head swap, um, which I'll be using for the base for my custom based on the sun. <laughs> so here it is. Ta-da! So as you can see, it's one of these wolf, cat, uh, or Persian heads. And it is the body of this sort of, um, well, it's a short hair cat body, but it used to be this LPS that had a short hair cat body and a bon bon cat's head, if that makes any sense. Um, and yeah, I just thought that this looks really good for the concept that I had in mind. Um, if you want to see that, you can check out the video that I made about that whole project. And I'm definitely going to try to make this soon because I think it's going to look really great and it's going to be a really fun project. So I'm actually really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too. And before you guys start screaming at me that I ruined a rare LPS, this one is actually a fake LPS, um, the head, so don't worry about it. Um, it was bought as a aftermarket replica from a Chinese seller, so don't worry about it, it's not an authentic LPS. And the body was just from another LPS that I bought secondhand that wasn't... Uh, from what I've understood, it's not very rare, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so don't be mad about it. So yeah, that's all I had to say. Sorry that this is a sort of long video, but I had a few things that I wanted to um, just tell you guys, and I hope that this answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions, I might answer them in some future videos, so you can ask me stuff in the comments if there's something that you're wondering. Um, and yeah, I would just wanted to thank you guys so much for being so patient with me and for sticking with me and supporting me through this time. Um, it's been a really great, lovely time in my life, but also it's been very frustrating not being able to paint, but I really hope that I can get into it again and I'm just excited to get back to making customs with you guys and taking your suggestions and stuff like that. It's gonna be really great. So thank you so much for watching everyone and see you again as soon as possible. <laughs> Bye!